Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, and I'm in here getting ready to do part 13. Anybody new to my videos, my name is Jeff, and welcome to my little machine shop here. Um, and uh, also, anybody new to my videos, I'm terminally ill. I have a disease called pulmonary fibrosis, and I can you can see me in these videos breathing hard sometimes. I'm doing much better now. Um, I've got a uh, pulmonary, my new pulmonary doctor uh, gave me a Pacific inhaler, and it is working like a charm. I'm breathing better than I've been breathing in the last eight months. So we're just going to go with this. But anyways, that's what you might see. So here we're on part 13 today. We're going to make this quick. I know it's Father's Day, and a lot of fathers are out there doing their thing. Um, we're just going to go ahead and finish this profile right here today. That's all we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, we already did this depth right here to uh, almost 200. Um, I actually cut it to 190. I was 10 off my finish, and I never dropped it to 200. It's still sitting in the mill bag there. Um, it's sitting at 188.9 or 188.8, something like that, like 190. So, But what I decide to do is these two depths are different, as well as that nubby right there. We're not going to put that nub in. But what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to drop down to 250. I'm going to do a 250 depth all the way around, around that, that profile right there. So that's all we're going to do today is finish the bottom profile. I've got some numbers here. Let me turn the camera around. So I put some numbers on the board, okay, and we're going to go over those at the end. I'm going to show you exactly how I could get my, my finished dimensions on this. Um, not hard at all. These are the numbers that we'll be seeing on the draw for the two finished cuts. And actually, you can go over here right now and look at the draw and look what it's sitting on. It's sitting on 535. My finished number is 534. And that was our finished dimension of this cut here. That we did the other day on the repair. Um, I don't know if we can. Let me see if I can get up in here for you. You can see what this is doing right now. Hold on. There we go. So that's where we're at. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this, this profile all the way up to this lug right here. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay. So. Let me turn this back around. Oh, you're looking at my ugly mug again. So that's. Uh, Let's get busy on this. This isn't going to be a long video, and we'll get that done. And um, I still have to get a an aircraft extension drill to finish. God, the light is so bad in here. You, and you wouldn't believe how bright it is in here. It's extremely bright. But yet you can never see anything in this camera. So uh, hopefully you can see that. But our gas tube needs to be uh, finished up. And remember, I'm going to use an extension drill because we got to go in through here to do it. Um, there's two things we got to do. We got to put our four four diameter corners in. See, them? there's four little corners, and each corner there is a small diameter. And then the inside the gas tube hole down in there is bigger diameter because that's where the bolt carrier rides up in. Uh, the gas tube comes through through there, and then the bolt carrier comes up and rides over top of the gas tube. So. I still need to order the extension drills for that. I never did it. And uh, we're at that point where I need to get them because we're getting close to finishing this up. Um, also here, charging handle cut, cut out right there. Um, this is three. This is distinct. There's a flat and then there's two little angles right there. And we're going to modify there too because there's too much work required to do that and it's not necessary. Um, what we need here is our depth and of course our locking our, our locking pocket right there where the, the locking uh, tab on the charging handle locks in place right there so we're getting down to nitty-gritty oh and I still need to make that cut for the for the bolt carrier um, for the bolt the rotate clearance rotation right there that cuts got to be done very easy we just plunge in and it's a depth cut we just plunge straight in at a Pacific, at a Pacific uh, dimension, we plunge in, and that's it. That's done. So let's get our profile finished up. And at the end, I'm also going to talk to you about how I'm going to do this. This uh, profile right here. Okay, because we got our radiuses cut. Okay, but that profile there, I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that when we're going to get it done. 
Okay, let me get busy here. And again, thank you everybody for watching, sharing, and subscribing my videos. Please like and, sh and subscribe. Um, all my new uh, uh, subscribers, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I love every one of you. So let's get busy on this. And we'll get this finished up today on Father's Day. Okay. So here we are. Um, our cut has already been done to 535 deep. If you remember, uh, I'll show it to you at the end here on the board. Our finish was 533.75. So in other words, 534. So I'm 1,000 off finish. Um, my dro oh, it turned off. Let me, uh, okay, so we're sitting at 535. Let me get this right again here. Or 534 is where we're at, excuse me. Right there, 534. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down. We've already cut our length here. So this, this is basically finished. Other than me coming out, and we're sitting at 190 deep, and I'm going to go to 250 deep. So we're going to come out, we're going to drop the Z down to 250, and we're going to go in and cut back all the way back to that 534. We're going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to come up, and we're going to cut this in dimension right here. Now I'm a little concerned about this barrel nut right here. I don't like my threads exposed. Um, I just uh, I'm, I'm just uh, trying to take as much precaution as possible not to ding my threads up. Because once that happens, once that happens, you know, I'm not going to be able to, it's going to be difficult to fix it. So I'm not sure where we're going to go right here. But still, this gets cut in slightly. So let's get this profile cut, cut finished, and get this uh, video done. It's going to be a short one. I got to put my mask on because we're going to be uh, shooting all kinds of small debris around. All right, mask is on. I'm going to come out. We're going to drop down to, uh, we're sitting at 188.8. I'm going to drop my Z down to, you know what, let's just go 225. I think that might help me clear up in here by the barrel nut for now. We can always drop down down to 250 afterwards. 25,000 should be fine. All right, we're at 2, 225. There's 225. 22500. Zero, zero. Head's locked. And it didn't move at all. Excellent. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll do the I'll do a couple passes here and then we'll uh, we'll finish it up in time lapse. I was running it earlier, so it should have some heat in it. I'm going to spend it around 20, between 22 and 24, see where I end up here. Okay, that's good right there. We're at 2172. That'd be fine. Okay, so remember, we always leave a little bit for finish. And so now I'm going to move on the X. I'm going to travel this direction. And come five thousandths off that back wall, and we'll do that. Cut that that five thousandths on our last finish pass, and we'll leave we'll leave five or ten up here too. So, our X is at zero. That was our stopping point. We're going to move. We'll make it ten thousand. So we're ten thousandths off that back back wall right there. We're going to come in. We're only going. We're only going to take small passes. Here we go. Our, our depth, we'll go ahead and take the whole path, pretty much see where, at, where are we in at. We're at 724, we'll go 700. Remember our finish is 533.75. Let's cut this. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of burr coming off the edge there, but We'll knock it off when we're done. That's just because of the ball end mill. And we'll stop 10, 10 short. 2700 was our finish, if you remember from the 
last video, there's 2690. Okay? 2690. Let's go, go in a little bit more. We're at 700. We're going to take it easy. I'm going to be gentle. And this is a climb cut. It's the preferred cut. But I'm going to cut back and forth, so I'm going to do both cuts. I want to get it done. I'm not going to return and then do just to do climb cuts every time. We'll stop 5, 10 for finish. We'll stop 10. There's 10,000. You see this bird we got right here? I don't know if you can see it. But we'll get it off. It won't take, there it is, it came right off of my finger. So we'll, we'll get that off the end. Okay. I'm going to go in just a little bit. We're at 640. We're taking it easy. Being gentle on our tooling, our machine. I need my, I need tool life. I need to keep my carbide end mill sharp as long as possible. We'll stop 10 for finish. Six, nine, zero, right there. Um, on climb cut, we can go deeper. So this is a 40 thousandth. And we'll finish this cut on camera here, and then we'll do everything in time lapse. There's ten thousandths. Actually, let's do time last now, so this video don't run long. My last video ran longer than I wanted it to. So let me stop this, and we'll go time lapse. Okay, we just finished our time lapse. We have our profile done. Got these are little breaking of some edges. Um, I think I'm just going to leave this how it is for now, right here on this corner, because I have to set this set this up so I can put 45 degree cuts on these lugs. And I think how I'm going to handle this is when I go to set this up and, and, and break all the square corners off these lugs and put 45s on them, this one up here actually gets rounded. Um, this is a rounded profile on this. At that point, I'm going to profile the front here, right, in, right up into where the thread is. So at this point, we're done. I'm going to shut the camera off now, take it out, and we'll talk about this. And this is, uh, this is part 13 on Father's Day. I forgot to go over the numbers on the board. <clears throat> so I've already uh, did the ending of this, this video. And I did a little blowing, so I got some stuff in the air, so the mask is back on. But anyways, I want to go over the numbers on the board here. And uh, just to give you a quickie of what my drove was reading and, and um, how we got those numbers. Very simple. We did everything from the center. We worked from the center of the part. And uh, let me show you here real quick. I got to unplug this. And turn around, so bear with me. Okay, so here I'm going to turn the camera. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Move this tripod out of the way. I was going to do it on a tripod. So basically, here's our finished numbers. This is what my drill read on this back cut. This was the number we were shooting for, if you remember, 533.75. And it was 440 from center plus our end mill, half our end mill. There was our drill number. When we went to the front cut here, right there, this is from center. Our finish number was 542.5, half our end mill. This is what our drill read. All right. 
So here's how we did this. First of all, we picked up our edges. Now you gotta remember this part is one, this width right here is 1.420. Here's 1.420. Down here on this cut, 1.420. So that's where we started. So I came in, I picked my edges up. So everything was working off the center of this part, right dead in the center. Okay? Right here. So we zero right dead there in the center. And when we go back here off zero, our finished width was 880,000 right here. So you divide that in half, and your finish was 440,000 from the center on that cut. Okay, 440, both sides. Go down here, and this width finish was 1.085. So 1420 minus 1 1.085 finish width 335. We divide that in two. 335. Or excuse me. <laughs> I put the wrong numbers in there. <clears throat> oh, I, oh no, I divided that in half. Excuse me. This is what we're removing is 335. 167, 5, and then we add our end mill. <clears throat> so this is actually what we were are removing. Right here, not our finished dimension. Here too. We removed two hundred and seventy thousandths off each side here, and we removed uh, one hundred and sixty-seven and a half thou off each side here. And this is how you check your numbers. Eight eighty is our width finish. This is our starting dimension. Five forty is the difference. You divide it by two, and we're removing two hundred seventy per side. So we can go over here, take our finished dimension, add 270 per side, and it comes up to our beginning number. We do that on both sides. So basically, our finish is 440 from center and 542.5 from center. And that's when I went over here, I took my 440, added half my end mill, and there was my draw number right here. So that's how we do that. Pretty simple. And here, this is checking your math, making sure your numbers add up. Did it here too? Okay, so that one four two zero at eight eight zero and two seventy removed from each side. So finish dimension. You add two seventy, what we say we're going to remove, and it comes up to that number. So we know we're correct. Um, ignore this. This is something I wrote down when I I shut the mill off the other night, so I remembered my draw numbers. Where my drawer was sitting in case it lost the uh, its position which it did not it was still sitting there when i turned the drawer on but that's how we did that so let me put this camera back down now turn it around here's my ugly mug again so anyways let's get the get insert this now before the ending i love y'all like share and subscribe <laughs> I'm going to turn this off, and that's that. Okay. Let me take this off. I just put the camera back over here on the gimbal. Let's take this out. I think I'm going to break some edges real quick. Where's my little, my favorite file for this particular operation? Let me break these real quick. You're taking a file, you're just going to knock the burrs off. Hi. I have favorite files. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. I'm just lightly knocking them off. This isn't something we need to do yet. There's a lot of work to go. Let me blow it out with air. No, I should have my mask on. Oh, well. Oh, Lord.
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Profile. Done. Okay. Well, pretty much done. We got a little bit of work to do here. I'm going to do that when we do the lugs. So these lugs have front lug is rounded. See, it's got a rounded profile. And this has got 45s cut pretty much all the way around it. So we got to do that. Now, what the heck of a burr right there still? Oh, that's where that little bit of weld was. So this right here, this pocket, looks different than this one. Reason being, this pocket was done with a half inch end mill and three passes. I did this with a three quarter inch end mill and one pass. But it serves the same purpose. It does the same function, um, which is basically nothing. <laughs> that's really not necessary. But here we are. Okay. We have our profile. Um, we got to do some little corner rounding right here. And we'll do all that when we do these lugs. Okay. All right. So we're coming along. And I think I'm going to make um, a shorter uh, a thread protector for this. And with a little bit less wall to it. So I can keep these threads protected while I do, do some machine work up in here. Remember, we still got to do some work right there. We got to put our four small diameter corners in the gas tube hole right there. We got to go in and we got to put our, our uh, locating slot in for the barrel location uh, pin. And um, we're going to start bringing this in. We're going to put three distinct cuts here. Um, they're probably going to be 30, 30 degrees apart, somewhere in there. We're going to cut that down. We're going to bring this into dimension. And we're going to put another cut down here. So we're going to start to shape it like an octagon. There you go. Profile is basically done now on the bottom. And we still got to put that cut in there. Remember for the bolt carrier, um, the bolt um, cam pin to rotate. So we're getting there, man. This thing's coming along. I can't wait to get it powdered. I mean, uh, duracoated or terracoated, whatever. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably duracoat it. I, I have some uh, OD green. I want to do this in OD green. Uh, dirt coat so that's probably where we're going to end up being um so we got a little bit more work to do um it's not a lot not as much as it appears to be now look how you can see how thick my ejection port you can see how thick the surfaces are in there so this comes down this is going to be brought in considerably smaller so i'm happy i'm happy couldn't be happier with this okay all right everybody thank you very much for liking, sharing, subscribing my videos, and and support me, uh, I'll have my email in the in the description. If you have any questions, please email me. I, I get emails all the time. Um, um, I try to help. A lot of times, I can't quite do through email what it, what I actually need needs to be done, but I try. I do my best. Um, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to move on to. Um, I'll probably go ahead and order. My uh, my extension drills this week, um, and uh, I mean off the top of my head, I don't, I can't think of anything else I, I need. I'm sure I oh I need to get a brand new half inch end mill. Um, if you remember my half inch long reach end mills, here it is right here. I've had this for years, and uh, of course we used this when to cut the cut the ejection port, and it was dull and long, and um, we did it on a on the indexing fixture. Um, the indexing fixture, the rigidity was pretty damn good. Uh, I was pretty impressed. I didn't have much of a rigidity issue as much as I had a, a leverage and a dull end mill issue. So this is a carbide half inch long reach end mill. And this thing's got to be, oh, I, I don't even know what this costs. It, it's expensive. <laughs> I know it is. But we need to get some new half inchers, and I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. We'll get the uh, extension drill to do our gas tube um, on the inside. Um Doing the four little corners, I already have those drills. You know, I got a whole car, uh, cobalt drill on deck right here. So here we are. It's coming along nicely. Um, I can't, I can't complain. We almost, we almost really messed up with that that error right there, but we got it welded, and we, of course, that's in the repair video. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. The little spot right there with a little bit of weld didn't take. But we're never going to know that. We're going to have to live with this. Um, this is something I just struggle with living with stuff like this. This bothers me 
no, I can't describe it. Um, being a tool maker, we don't make mistakes. We do everything we can not to make mistakes. But turning on the ball turner and that thing, that handle was sitting out this long. And I was a little absent minded there for just a split second. And that's all it took. And we almost cost, I almost cost myself this receiver after all the work we got into this. But we're still on track. We're still good. Have a fantastic Father's Day. Um, my boy and uh, my grandson are, are on their way. Um, yeah, I have children. <laughs> I uh, have two boys. My, my, my son, um, he's 36 years old. And his son, um, he's, he's 12 years old. Uh, great kids. I, I, I couldn't have been blessed more with my son. My son was never a problem. You know, he never caused me any grief. Um, he pretty much did what, what I taught him. Um, he's doing well. Uh, I, I just couldn't be happier. So I, I've been blessed with that as well. Look how well I'm breathing. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> the inhaler, the specific inhaler that this new doctor put me on is night and day. I'm telling you, I almost feel, I mean, this is not going to last. But right now, I almost feel like I don't have pulmonary fibrosis. I, I'm breathing that much better. I'm not breathing normally by far, but for me, the way it's been the last for the last year going downhill, this is like I'm brand new. It feels like I'm brand new. Um, I'm going to take it for now. We're going to keep moving forward here. Um, again, we had great news at the pulmonologist this past week. I spent quite a bit of time there uh, over a two-day period being tested and and getting to know the new doctor and I know all the things that come along with that. Um, Again, people, I love you so very much. Um, I appreciate you watching, subscribing, and sharing my videos. Watch, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in part 14, and we'll definitely probably be on that this coming uh, next weekend. Um, I'm going to order up what I need this week, and next weekend look for part 14. Love you all. Have a great Father's Day. See ya.